It's time now for What the Farage and the left with their pals in the MSM have been sent into a frenzy after our very own Nigel hinted at a possible return to frontline politics. He told the Daily Lee Telegraph's Christopher Hope that he was working out what to do after something snapped in him over the sorry net immigration figures before admitting that he was angrier than he has ever been. And Nigel fired a warning to the political establishment saying that if he did return to politics, there would be a short term volcanic eruption. The woke karate would be on the smelling salts, even the vegan community might go for a bacon sandwich. So, Nigel, look, you know that I don't want to lose you from GB News, uh, but this is my chance to quiz you on your true political ambitions. So level with me, Nigel. Are you seriously considering leaving this great studio for a return to frontline politics? Look, Dan, I mean, I was the one, you know, very much a lone voice for years, arguing life outside the European Union would be better arguing there ought to be a national referendum on this issue. And it was a fringe minority cause. I was a fruitcake, a loony, and all the rest of it. But you know what? We got there. And when the Conservative Party blew it under Theresa May, I came back, I got rid of Mrs May, and I did pretty much everything I could to help Boris Johnson get that 80-seat majority. I contributed in a big way to that happening. I'm furious. I mean, the reason we won the referendum was the turnout was 10% higher than all the experts thought. Why? Because people voted, they thought it mattered, they wanted to get back control of our borders. They realised that the population explosion meant they couldn't get a GP appointment, their kids couldn't get houses, the roads were busier than ever, and that our quality of life was being diminished by this addiction to cheap labour. That was the basic promise mm -hmm. to voters in the referendum and when Boris got the 80-seat majority. It has been completely and utterly betrayed. And I to that, anybody in small and medium-sized business could realistically expect the burden of excessive regulation to be lifted. In many cases now, we are regulating our businesses more heavily than the European Union is. Ridiculous. OK, so, so, so what you're saying... So is yeah. there's reason for you to come back? Of course yes. there is. You know, there is, yeah. there is policy reasons, but you've still got to tackle the issue of a first-past-the-post system, you know, and would you take that risk? Look, you know, Reform UK, I set up out of the Brexit party. It's the same party with a different name. I fully support all of Richard Tice's efforts, all right? And I want to make that very, very clear. But I've got to work out... You know, what could, if I do this, what is the effect? Would I help Labour to get an even bigger majority in this election, which Possibly. could make them even which could make them even worse than the Conservatives, and they're pretty bad <laughs> in many regards? What could I achieve? And would I finish up like 2015 with four million votes and one seat? I, I mean, you know, never before in British electoral history has anybody got so many votes for so little return. Oh, is, so it possible, is it possible? I mean, our system needs to be changed. It needs to come into the 21st century. We must have a degree of representation, genuine representation for how we vote. So I've got to work out two things. One, I've got to work out if I was to do this and throw myself at it, mm -hmm. and, you know, if I do anything... <laughs> yeah, you don't, go, you don't go small, do you, Nigel? I think we've just I lost Nigel one second. Oh, he's back. But no, you only go big. I get that point. Yeah, you know, that would mean the end of me broadcasting at GB News. And that would be a shame because I think the channel is gaining in influence. I think the channel is gaining in authority. I think the channel has a real identity now on the media scene. And given what Eamon and you are doing <laughs> to ITV at the moment, um, you know, that's all to the good. Um, and hey, I'm pretty bored with the climate hour on Sky. Um, so all of that, you know, I've got to work out, could I really, by doing this, by recommitting, could I really bring about the kind of fundamental change I believe in? And I don't yet know okay. the answer to that. Well, a very uh, honest but, answer, and I'm and, glad, yep. And I'm not ruling it out. OK, no, very honest answer. I appreciate it. Now, look, Nigel, I just wanted to show you a little bit of this really important interview I did last night. Uh, it was harrowing. This is Peter Wallace. He is the father of Tommy Roberts, who was murdered by that illegal migrant who should never have been in the country because he was a convicted killer. Uh, he slammed Britain's soft touch approach that had 
failed his family so tragically. Look at this, Nigel. I think compassion comes into it. It's common sense. And I ask anyone who, who pleads compassion, if it's your child, your son, your daughter, your mother, your father, is in the same situation, you wouldn't think the same. Anything you want, we'll put you in schools or here, there and everywhere. We'll give you a life that you don't have to pay for because you're an asylum seeker. Isn't that such an important message from, uh, from Peter Wallace, Nigel? The first duty of government is to protect the nation mm-hmm. and to protect people. We are allowing tens of thousands of young, undocumented males from God knows where, with backgrounds about which we have no idea, to enter our country. We've already seen 12,000 Albanians have broken their bail terms and disappeared into the country. On top of that, goodness knows what the risks of crime, violence, terrorism are. This is a national security disaster. And I hate to tell people I told you so, but I did. I warned what you would did. happen. No, you did. It is happening. It is happening. It is truly dreadful. Uh, and again, it's a Brexit promise broken. I put that poster out, breaking point. Do you remember? I, I do. showed oh, I columns, do. <laughs> of men, columns of young men yeah, yeah, yeah. the European Union, and I said I don't want it to happen here. It is, and I feel great, great sorrow for that man and for his family. Yeah. Indeed, it's the human cost of uh, this terrible invasion of our southern border. Nigel Farage, thank you so much. And Nigel back 7 o'clock here tomorrow night on GB News.